Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Azure Graphics. In this video, I'll be teaching you how I created this church flyer. If you just joined me for the first time, kindly subscribe to my channel. Put on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial here on YouTube. Okay, let's just get over with this. So the first thing I'll be doing is I will just create a new layer. Then I'll just come to this area, this particular one. Come to um from in, from gallery. Now the reason I'm coming here because I already have my background, so I just want to set this particular image as completely as my background. All right, so that's what I did there. So the next thing is just come to shape, come to gradient. Then so now you just want to create like a dark gradient. So you can just come and click any of these pixel presets. Click on OK, tweak it this way. Now just make sure the white is not reflecting there and just close it. Alright, so we can now move this somewhere around here. Okay. Now so you will just position this one here. You can scale it down a bit. Alright, so I have this this guy here. So now I'll be inserting a text effect. I created this. Maybe I'll make a video, separate video, and how you can create this particular text effect in another video. I'll explain that in another video, definitely not this one. Alright, now let me just bring in the original design okay all right so this is the original design it's not that difficult you can see it but i've just saved myself the stress of stretching out all right so i'll just bring in my text call to zion global network international Okay, let's just make everything all caps. Yep. Then you may want to apply a bit of padding. Okay. So the next thing is font. I use my the font I use for my brand really. Okay, so center. Pose the unity position and I'll just bring it here. Alright, so the next thing is just double tap on this and just. Now I use small letters, present. Okay, so the. Now I actually duplicated it because you need this party okay so okay now once we've done this one i'll just come here and um and this font okay so i will okay let's use this naruto font okay oh okay you can use this uh you can use actually use any script font so there's no law guiding any particular type of font for the font you can use okay so okay now now i have this guy here present right call to zion global network international okay okay so my present um, just have to change the color to white. You can ye yellow. You can just come and use this one. Sorry, I'm having really nose. That the way that. All right. So this is there's some colors that are under in your pixel app by default. Present. Okay. Let's this same one. 
I just bring in my takes. Now uh, I'm going to make a different video. For now, spray up the cruise. You know what? Let's just. I'm just gonna add all my takes in by default. Okay. Let me just type this in case for the sake of beginners three days prayer three days fasting sorry i did another one for the brand fasting three days fasting and prayer so you have to make this one capital letter everything all cap Present three days cap fasting and prayer. So I'll make it three week. So you increase the size. You definitely want to increase the size of this because it's kind of important. The okay. So we have that three days fasting and prayer. I'll copy this. Then I'll tag. okay so we we just leave this one here and okay so um okay so we have this Tagged. So, um, the next thing is I, I created a shape. I created the shape, position the shape here. Okay, so I lock the shape. Now, one thing about when you design a big zella, you just have to be keeping all your like everything that related, put them together. So, in case you really want to adjust them, so it won't be giving you problem. So, the next thing is I'll just copy this. All right, so I'll just write ministers. All right, I mean, reduce the size. Now this will do. Make the color. Okay, let's make it of red. Just give it any red color, any red, any default red. Now let's see the original design. If I made it of red, yeah, I did. Okay that who come to background enable set the color of background to white okay okay so we have this here to increase the stroke about three change the color to white okay we can leave this here all right so we'll make sure it's at the center okay now okay the shape happens to be at the center but the opacity of the stroke is reduced. My bad, I forgot. It was a mistake. Okay, so that's for the pictures, and we can just come and bring in the shape. So I'm going to make a new tutorial on how I created this text effect. 
use my phone right i'll make that video in a bit so um, so just come here come here then i use like a i still use this yellow button us is another okay i use this one okay so then i duplicated it um i just want to i want to possibly stop this video and get to 12 minutes i said 12 minutes it goes to 15 minutes i don't want it to be too long so i'll just like skip some of this process i've done the major part then i'll just copy this and position it somewhere around here so we'll try and keep this here if you see this one now that this one and the previous one i did like the spacing of this particular this one it's kind of much compared to this first one but there's still no problem so look at here then this is you come to texture click on this guy here and you just select the the now you look at now there is something there is actually the reason why i actually did this now i'm going to position it here okay the reason it's not showing is because i changed the color here so you just have to go on here change the color edit this way come here and change the color okay you just when you insert it now change the color just come here back to edit change the color here instead so you can see it's reflecting now this is the texture come here and scale it this way so it's okay like this now one thing about let me delete this and just duplicate this i will not want to be going back and change the color and that like it's kind of stressful now whenever you're doing something like this you just try and make sure you're using your grid you position your grid now make sure all this i will not want to go through the stress all this the three ensure the three if you are using i'll leave it like this it should be in line okay it's not so i'll bring this one down a bit okay i think using my eyes i'm using my eyes to gauge it that it's okay so you just come here click on texture come to this guy here and and um okay this one now you've noticed the first one we used the head it was a bit cut and that was how the image is so you have to repeat the same effect for everything so you know to maybe upload the remaining one full image because this one happens to be very full and you know the one we just have but it will appear more professional so but once you apply the same effect for everything to be like like it just happen to be a professional you can see it see it that the old heads are cut and also you can choose to position the picture okay so the same thing goes to the third person make sure to cut his head a bit so that's how the image there's no law governing this thing but the thing is just for repetition sake it will look good if you represent this is the best way to do it if you do it the other way around maybe this one's that the picture of who you know putting for one picture is supposed to be cut the design is not going to appear professional it's going to appear unprofessional and you really don't want to like that and the person who is doing this is still a newbie so you can see this uniformity among the pictures so all we just need to just put position copy this text additional all right so that's all for this one so the other one is i'll just then you can just copy pasta and just start inserting the name so i'll just like skip this one skip this one just give you a quick review of the rate design 
so you can see this is the real design all i did here you can see the date there is together or you can just come here just bring in type in your dates and everything so let's say it once you so once you've just typed in the dates you just come to font i like these dates just these dates and i set this just the date and that to bold very well bold now come here move to time and this uh, you see time so you can use the remaining one on medium just align this on medium or semi bold or anyone so those ones are going to be appearing light why just those ones you are lighted and use bold on will be appearing bold okay so same thing with the venue and the name of the ministry so this the traveling to bring, bring forth so is the day i just you can see there like sentence keys then the line spacing is like about is it three so just be sure you stretch it to the center now this line here so let's just hide this it's just a rectangle and just like we brought in something a shape a color you can see it is brown so you can just reduce this so use it the one i did is too big okay okay now i felt it's still too big you can still reduce it a bit the still feeling is still too big that you can actually reduce it a bit okay i think it's still good it's good you can just bring it down a bit don't want to really don't want to go through that straight stuff i actually feel it's okay now okay so you can just come here save your design you can just save it as jpeg save it in ultra you can save it as a pin or just as custom just put it 3000 3000 3000 3000 just click on save so it's going to save and your design will save it's really going to save so the next thing you'll be doing after you save your design it's going to but let me just use snapseed instead now uh, I just I'm using Snapseed. So just click on this plus and just bring in our design. So when I did my design, use Photoshop Express. In case you don't use Photoshop, you don't have to use Photoshop Express. You can just use follow through any of my previous design. But just for this one, I, I just decide to make it up. Snapseed. So the first one you just come in. So all you just need to just move your hand, your finger. Just be moving it. On the screen yeah just those direction you'll notice this slide is going to be moving so so I'm, I'm moving my hand now towards that side so that's how you operate snaps it you just move your hand towards that direction so now I don't want only my undo I could have just still did it I want to increase the structure and also want to sharpen it so let me sharpen it to about 25 okay it's cool so then i'll still click on tools come to tune image so the same thing okay i will increase the contrast 30 it's okay so give it a bit of ambience okay let's see the shadows no you can just leave it the ones the highlights the ambience okay not really so i guess we're good with just those two so the next thing is um, 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 um. Uh, I guess just those two are okay. Just those two is okay. Okay, let's let's make it fine. Just those two is okay. So we want to reduce the filter strength. Just those two. I guess just those two is okay. I uh, still feel my you want to okay tonal contrast let's just have tonal contrast a bit of tonal contrast that is it like a double preset preset that is already has been added to it already so um i'll just leave it like this 
Okay, so before and after. Now you can see my design is appearing to be very very sharp and kind of very very clear. So you can just come here and export. Just click on save or export anyone. It's going to save into your phone. Alright, so that's all for this particular tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.